Hello, today we are going to cover the topic of information security provisions. There are many security concerns while doing businesses online. These include privacy, that is the personal details that should be kept confidential by merchants online. Integrity, there should be no tampering with the information shared by the buyer. Authentication, there should be proof of identification that the buyer is real and also the merchant needs to ensure that the products are real. Non-repudiation. This is to ensure the message was indeed received. Let's start with privacy. How do you maintain privacy online? Ensure that the connections are secure, which means that the data is encrypted when sent over the internet. Use HTTPS instead of HTTP. Do not click on unknown links or attachments. Block cookies and go in for private browsing. Make sure you understand the privacy policy offered by the sites. Ensure that you're protected from malware by using virus protection software. Share the minimum necessary information online, especially on networking sites. Next is integrity. How do you maintain integrity of data transferred over the net? There are various protocols which are standardized to maintain integrity. Let us cover them one by one. First is SSL. SSL is secure sockets layer, which is a standard security protocol to establish an encrypted link between the web server and a browser. This is to ensure the data transmitted between the browser and the website is encrypted. The presence of an SSL protocol and an encrypted session is indicated by the presence of a lock icon in the address bar. PCI DSS Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard are a set of security standards designed to ensure that all companies that accept, process, store or transmit credit card information maintain a secure environment. SET Secure Electronic Transaction is a communication protocol standard for securing credit card transactions over the network. Firewall is a network security system that monitors and controls network traffic. It establishes a barrier between the internal network and internet based on predetermined security rules. So how do you do authentication? Authentication is done by digital signatures and digital certificates. So what is a digital signature? A digital signature is a digital code that can be attached to an electronically transmitted message and that uniquely identifies the sender. And digital certificate? It is a legal document issued by CA, certification authority like VeriSign, that uniquely identifies a site.